thing that we're going to do is to make it so that we can click through on our item. So if I click on Melbourne, I'm going to make it go to another view controller uh, and eventually hopefully we're going to make the map appear and, and show where Melbourne is. Uh, so that's the plan. Uh, I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, but I'm just sort of uh, hacking this together a little bit. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is to add in another view controller. So view controller, and I have shown this in previous uh, tutorials, so I'll keep it quite short and sweet. Okay, I've got my view controller. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to add in a file so that we can uh, manipulate this view. So file, new file. I'm going to select Coco Touch class. This is going to be a UI view controller subclass, and I'm going to call this map. So map view controller dot Swift. Make sure the language is Swift as well. Cool, and I'm going to add this inside my view controller. From here, back to my main control, my main storyboard. I select my view controller. Make sure under the inspector that I select my map.viewcontroller. So now this view is linked to my file so that I can manipulate it later on. Okay, then we're going to create a segue. So from this view controller, I'm going to click on this yellow button and do control drag to here and I'm going to make a segue. Okay, we want this segue to be triggered uh, by code which again I've shown a tutorial for, but if we click on this, this transition, we need to give it an identifier. I'm going to call it transition. Cool, so now I've got a new view controller with some code. Uh, I've got a transition that goes between it, so I've got to make it when I click on it to then go to the new view controller. Okay, so go to uh, my table view controller, and we're going to look for a new method here. So override, actually if we just write uh, did select row at, nope, that's not coming up, let's try again. Override function table view did, no, it wants to be difficult today, make me type out the whole thing, uh, table view Always a danger when you're typing out the whole thing that you're going to make a mistake and then uh, it stuffs up the whole thing. I think the main thing is here, which it always auto completes, that one should be a capital I. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do uh, is just to print out to show that our correct cell has been, uh, correct row has been selected. Okay, so I'm just going to print out, get my index path from the data, and I'm going to print out the city. Okay, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is to create uh, my transition and make sure that that performs. Okay, so perform segue with identifier, and we gave it that identifier called transition, and my sender is going to be nil. Okay, so let's run this and hopefully it's going to work. See, there's always an error when you type it out yourself. Okay, so I've got my thing. When I click on Melbourne, I can see Melbourne prints out and it's transitioned me to my new view. Okay, so Perth, transition to my new, Hobart, transition to my new. Okay, so I'll stop this video now. In the next one, uh, we're going to modify our uh, data a little bit to make sure that we can access it from all the views.